there's no one else. Um, I don't believe that. I don't care what you believe. Ooh. No, no. Nowhere. Stick to one woman. Ouch. There's only one Judge Judy. Never lie to a judge when you're in court. It's a no-no. Judge Judy, weekdays at 4, followed by WENY News at 5.30. Tonight on WENY News, Chemung County is going back to some of its pre-COVID ways. We'll tell you what the county jail is doing regarding lifting COVID restrictions. And rain showers being replaced with snow showers as colder temperatures now work in from the west. And the House passes a measure moving closer to preventing a national rail strike. We're going to tell you more on what's next. WENY News 6 starts right now. From across the Twin Tiers, this is WENY News at 6. Good evening. Thank you for joining us for WENY News at 6. I'm Renata Steele. And I'm Nick Quatrini. Well, starting with weather tonight, gusty winds persist all across the region, but most of the rain has moved on out. WENY Chief Meteorologist Joe Barris is here to let us know what's in store for tomorrow. Joe? Well, we're not, it still looks like we're going to have some windy conditions in place for tomorrow, but we'll see the skies brightening a bit. We'll be looking at a mixture of the sun and clouds. Temperature is going to struggle, though. Today, we managed to hit the upper 40s and lower 50s. We'll be stuck in the 30s for high temperatures tomorrow, and the gusty winds that will persist will uh, make it feel colder, so we'll have a little bit of a wind chill issue uh, for our Thursday. Now, in the short term, with the colder temperatures now arriving from the west, the lake effect snow machine firing up a bit over the western southern tier, and some of these snow showers will work their way eastbound into our region through the overnight period tonight. So there could be some minor accumulations in portions of our viewing area. Most will stay under an inch, but you head westbound out towards Hornell and especially west of there. That's where a couple inches of accumulation can't be ruled out. In fact, the National Weather Service has issued winter weather advisories in effect from Erie over towards the Jamestown area and Olean as well. So the western southern tier under a winter weather advisory due to the lake effect snow that's developing. Temperatures right now dropping back through the 30s, so down from where we were earlier on. 38 the current temperature in Elmira. Couple rain showers out there, but again, a couple snowflakes will start to mix in over the next few hours. Drier conditions though for tomorrow, but definitely colder with highs only in the 30s. Then we'll start to push the temperatures back up though as we approach the weekend. I'll let you know how much of a warming trend we can expect late week in just a bit. Thank you, Joe. Well, after almost three years, the Chemung County Jail is lifting its COVID restrictions on visitation starting Friday. WENY's Lindsay Madison spoke with the Chemung County Sheriff and learned what the jail's doing regarding lifting those restrictions. Lindsay? Nick Renata, I spoke with Sheriff William Schramm regarding the inmates being allowed visitation again and what's in store for the prisoners moving forward with regard to, to making the right decision. So after meeting with everybody, we felt that the, the proper decision was to close the facility for visitation. Chemung County Sheriff William Schramm says the jail had to cut visitations to inmates in early 2020. He said they consulted with the Chemung County Health Department to ensure the safety and security of the inmates, but for the jail staff as well. It was all the programs that brought persons from the outside of the facility into the facility that could create a risk to the inmates and the staff. Schramm says COVID restrictions didn't just impact visitation, but forced them to cut programs as well. Things like vocational and educational services along with a barber was halted. The jail has been working on a program with GTL. GTL is a system that works with the phone system and can be used to issue iPads so the inmates can use them to communicate via video chat. Within those iPads, the inmates have the ability to interact with um, loved ones on the outside, so they could essentially do a virtual uh, visitation. While that program is not in place, Schramm said they are still trying to finalize it. He says if it had been in place during the visitation restrictions, it would have alleviated a lot of the issues and given inmates more options to talk with loved ones beyond phone calls and letters. Visitors will be able to visit the Chemung County Jail starting this Friday from 6.45 a.m. to 1.15 p.m. You can read more about visitation days and hours on our website at WNY.com. Nick, Renata? All right, thanks, Lindsay. 
Today, Guthrie Corning Hospital is being recognized for its exceptional service in the delivery room. According to Health Grades, Guthrie Corning's labor and delivery unit received a five-star rating for C-section deliveries in 2022. Health Grades found a significant difference in hospital quality between those with a five-star rating compared to hospitals with a one-star. Notably, data shows that patients having a C-section delivery in a five-star hospital received or experienced a 60.4% lower risk of experiencing a possible complication compared to if they were treated in a one-star hospital. It is an honor for us to be given this award. We work very hard to have excellent care for our patients, especially in the C-sections. Um, our team works together very well. Um, I really appreciate the hard work that anesthesia, the providers, nursing, and the OR staff have done to you know, achieve this goal. And this year marks the third straight year. Guthrie's Labor and Delivery Unit is being recognized by Health Grades. Nearly $15 million has been awarded through the Market New York program to support multiple projects related to tourism statewide. That's according to Empire State Development. Locally, Opera Ithaca will receive $75,000. Market New York promotes travel destinations, attractions, and special events across the state. According to the announcement, the tourism industry is New York's third largest industry, supporting one in 11 private sector jobs. The industry generates enough in state and local taxes to save every household in the state more than $1,000 a year. Well, the U.S. House took up a bill today to prevent a possible railroad strike on December 9th. The development comes after President Biden met with lawmakers urging them to step in. Scholar Henry reports from Capitol Hill. The yeas are 290, the nays are 137, the joint resolution is passed. With the clock ticking, House lawmakers voted to adopt a tentative agreement to block a potentially crippling national rail worker strike. A shutdown would grind our economy to a halt and every family would feel the strain. The move imposes a contract brokered by the Biden administration back in September that includes a 24 percent raise over five years, despite opposition from several negotiating unions. It's unthinkable that the four railroad unions are holding the nation economically hostage. Lawmakers also passed a second piece of legislation that would add seven days of paid sick leave to the agreement. Most Americans do not get these generous uh, leave policies. This is blatant political pandering. President Biden asked Congress to step in, warning a rail strike could cost the U.S. economy up to $2 billion a day. This is a deal that has a lot of benefits. Economist Jonathan uh, Wright not, says the strike would put a strain on shipments of coal, lumber, grain, and some holiday gifts. If one piece of that if the financing piece, if the transportation piece gets disrupted, that would be a very big threat. The emergency measure now goes to the Senate. The key issue is the working conditions in the rail industry, which are absolutely unacceptable. If a bill doesn't get to the president to sign, a strike could begin next Friday. Well, a new law in Pennsylvania is set to streamline the application process for antlerless deer licenses. Still ahead, WENY Pennsylvania Capital correspondent Brendan Scanlon join us to break down what the new law means for PA hunters. And the House Select Committee is winding down their investigation into the January 6th attack. We're going to tell you when the panel will meet again and what their plans are moving forward. And tracking a few snow showers that'll pass through the twin tiers tonight. The winds will remain brisk. I'll let you know how long the chilly conditions will stick around coming up right after the break. But first, a live look at our Crystal City Sky Cam overlooking Market Street in downtown Corning. You're watching WENY News at 6. The news doesn't have to always be depressing. What do you love about running? Energy! Energy! It can be uplifting. That human connection that we create on the broadcast every night is incredibly important. There are still too many bad burgers out there. So Arby's is running that Wagyu Steakhouse Burger back. Arby's, we have the meat. 
Have a unique shopping experience at the shops at the Corning Museum of Glass. Choose from handmade glass and thousands of other gifts this holiday season. Enjoy free shipping exclusively online or a relaxed shopping atmosphere in store at 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. daily. I'm Sally Hubbard. I'm from Bitter Lake in New York. When you're going through the cancer treatment, the chemo with the radiation, it's all the unknown. It's very scary. And I would definitely say go to Cuba Medical Center. The staff is great. The doctors are great. The way they move you through the system and take care of you. CMC made it very easy. And uh, they've always been right there to help us out. Cayuga Health. The right care, right here. Countryside Property Maintenance. We've got all of your property maintenance needs covered, from snow plowing, seasonal cleanups and hauling, tree work, and complete lawn care. Countryside Property Maintenance. Give us a call. We do it all. Serving Stuben, Chemung, and Schuyler Counties. Everyone deserves to be cared for and to live well. At Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield, that's why we're here. From new plans that make great coverage more accessible and affordable. To starting conversations about mental health and long-standing inequities. We're moving beyond what you'd expect from us. And broadening the very definition of health coverage. Because when we do that, everybody benefits. Evening Weather is brought to you by Empire Access, the fastest internet in the Twin Tiers. From WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Well, welcome back. Wind, the big weather story for today. Wind gusts easily topping 30 miles an hour in a few spots, topping 40 miles an hour. Had a 41 mile an hour gust in Penyon, a 47 mile an hour wind gust in Wellsville. And it looks like it's going to stay at least on the brisk side here. And not only tonight, but through the day tomorrow as well, as we still have a tight pressure gradient across the region. We have that area low pressure pushing up into New England and an area of high pressure over the Ohio Valley. But it's that high pressure system that will be moving our way and provide us with mainly dry conditions here for tomorrow and Friday. Now, before the cold front came through earlier today, we hit 51 degrees at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. Since then, we're dropping back into the 30s. And with the colder temperatures moving in from the west, the lake effect snow machine beginning to fire up a bit and uh, several inches of snow possible over the western southern tier overnight tonight into the first part of tomorrow. Locally here in the Twin Tiers, it'll just be a couple passing snow showers overnight, but there may be a light coating of accumulation on the ground by early tomorrow morning, uh, maybe an inch or two across the higher terrain over western sections of Steuben County. And again, we do have a winter weather advisory in effect, Chautauqua, Cattaraugus counties, and back towards Erie County in northwestern areas of Pennsylvania. Uh, there are the snow showers that we'll be tracking through the overnight period tonight, kind of drifting occasionally through our region, but things quiet down tomorrow as high pressure moves in. The wind still will be brisk, uh, but at least we'll have some sunny breaks developing. Now, in terms of accumulations, again, through the next 24 hours or so, most less than one inch, but there may be an inch or two across the higher terrain of western Steuben County. Tomorrow's plan are showing a mixture of sun and clouds, still breezy, and look at the temperatures, only in the 30s. 39s are five degree guarantee. Factor in some breezy conditions, and it's going to feel at times like it's in the teens. So definitely want to layer up tomorrow if you plan on spending any extended periods of time outside. 5 o'clock, so early tomorrow morning, still looking at some wind gusts between 20 and 30 miles an hour. That'll carry over into the afternoon hours for tomorrow. But by the time we head into tomorrow evening, as that high pressure system sets up shop into our neck of the woods, the winds will finally relax. And there is that area of high pressure here again, keeping our skies, uh, well, variably cloudy tonight. Partly sunny for tomorrow, and uh, we'll be looking at a mixture of sun and clouds on Friday. As this high pressure system heads out to sea late week, we get more of a southwesterly wind flow, so temperatures start to rebound here Friday. And out ahead of a cold front that'll pass through on Saturday, we could hit 50 degrees once again. Today we forecast 53, 51 was the unofficial high. 26 is where we're headed tonight. A couple snow showers, not out of the question, still on the windy side. Chilly day for tomorrow with a five degree guarantee of 39, but up to 47 on Friday. Saturday, scattered showers in the forecast 51, and temperatures drop back into the 40s for highs Sunday and through the first half of next week. 
Thank you, Joe. Well, Pennsylvania lawmakers and state game officials say a new law will make it easier to obtain antlerless deer licenses. Antlerless deer tags will be obtainable online and from all sellers authorized by the Game Commission, including retailers, gun shops, and more. Our state capital correspondent for Pennsylvania, Brandon Scanlon, he joins us live to tell us more about the law and what it means for people who hunt. Brendan. Good evening, Renata and Nick. Yeah, with this year's hunting season already well underway, the legislation that was signed into law by Governor Wolf earlier this month will not take effect until next year's season. According to game officials, it will provide a much needed update to the antlerless license uh, antlerless deer license application process. It's certainly more modernized. And, and that's something that, that many of our hunters were asking for. Travis Lau with the Pennsylvania Game Commission says the new law provides options for hunters. The ability for hunters to have a choice in, in where and how they purchase licenses. Senate Bill 431, now Act 148 of 2022, expanded license issuing agents beyond just county treasurers. For hunters, that means that they'll be able to go down to the corner store, go to their local big box retailer, go to their local gun shop, uh, go online. For decades, hunters have had to apply for antlerless deer licenses by mailing an application and a check to a county treasurer in a timely fashion. It's an outdated, slow, and costly process, according to State Senator Dan Laughlin of Erie, the sponsor of Senate Bill 431. But honestly, it just it's, it's just one more step in, in making it easier to purchase your licenses, and it's easier for the Game Commission to control you know, how many they're selling uh, for each management unit. Laughlin says the new option are more practical for the next generation of hunters in that they can save the Game Commission time and money. They spend about a quarter million dollars a year just printing those pink envelopes, so you know that's money that can be better used for either management or habitat uh, restoration. And Lau says that hunters play an extremely important uh, role in managing deer populations. It's a really essential role, um, and it's also a role that would otherwise have to be handled by the state and with taxpayer dollars. That's why uh, both Lau and Senator Laughlin say it is extremely important to reduce uh, barriers for hunters and make those up updates uh, where necessary. Reporting live at the Pennsylvania State Capitol for WENY News, I'm Brendan Scanlon, Renata and Nick, back to you. Thank you, Brendan. Well, the January 6th committee is winding down. Its investigation will tell you when a final report could be issued. But first, here's a look at how stocks ended the day. Visit WENY.com slash live or download our app today. Big news, New York. Expanded financial help is available to reduce cost of health insurance for new enrollees, including New Yorkers who were not previously eligible for financial help. Our free enrollment experts at New York State of Health can help you. Get a low-cost plan that fits your needs immediately. What are you waiting for? Visit NYStateofHealth.com dot ny dot gov or call us by phone today save big and sleep better cyber week deals are on now at raymore and flanagan in stores and at RayMoreFlanagan.com, save up to $500 on top mattress brands like Tempur-Pedic, Purple, Beautyrest, Nectar, and more. Or buy your new mattress now and pay over time with financing. Take 48 months to pay with zero interest. Our mattresses are in stock and ready to deliver to your home tomorrow for free. Don't wait. Save on your new mattress now. Only at Raymore and Flanagan. WDC Injury Law. If you've been involved in a serious car accident through no fault of your own, you need to contact WDC Injury Law. We'll fight for your rights and make sure you get the maximum amount you're owed on your accident claim. We've produced record-breaking results for our clients right here in the Twin Tiers. And there's no fee unless we win the case. 
Call WDC Injury Law at 607-500-HURT. Or visit our office in Corning, New York for a free consultation with one of our attorneys. Meet the Twin Tiers hometown heroes who answered the call and served America. WENY News proudly presents Vietnam Reflections, 50 Years of Healing. See the untold stories of your remarkable neighbors. I used to say to myself, thank God the rest of my family don't have to see this. Vietnam changed everybody that went over there. Vietnam Reflections, 50 Years of Healing, a year-long special presentation of WENY News. From across the twin tiers, this is WENY News at 6 with Renata Steele. Nick Quattrini and Chief Meteorologist Joe Barris. Well, job seekers didn't have as many positions to apply for last month, but the U.S. labor market is still historically tight. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, there were 10.3 million openings in October. That's down from the 10.7 million jobs in September. Among areas seeing less openings, state and local governments and non-durable goods manufacturing. The Federal Reserve is still focused on bringing down inflation and tightness in the labor market does the opposite. The House Ways and Means Committee received six years of Donald Trump's federal tax returns today. The Treasury Department confirms that it has compi com complied with a court ordered a court approved order to release the returns after the Supreme Court refused to stop it last week. Congressman Richard Neal, chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, says Democrats will meet as a caucus to discuss what's next moving forward. House members will have to decide how to proceed with the tax returns for both the former president as well as his corporate entities. And staying with Congress, the House Select Committee looking into the January 6, 2021 Capitol attack is winding down its investigation. The full panel is expected to meet Friday and hear from a subcommittee of members about options for potentially issuing criminal referrals. Committee member Benny Thompson says if the panel decides to issue criminal referrals, it will be done separately from the final report. Thompson says the report is nearly done and it's expected to have eight chapters and include hundreds of pages of transcripts of interviews. The sources say the report could be issued as early as the week of December 12th. And coming up in sports, the Tioga football team will play for their second straight state title on Saturday. We'll hear from the Tigers as they prepare for a big matchup against Cambridge Salem when we come back. You're watching WENY News at 6. The town is closing the back center. Some ski resort wants to buy up all the land? We only need $80,000 to keep this place open. If I win, you have to have dinner with me. Could be fun, but he's the enemy. Pretty cute enemy. Amanda Kutz and Paul Green star in the new holiday movie. I have never met anybody who sees the world the way you do. This is the time for miracles. Fit for Christmas, Sunday after 60 Minutes on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. The area has come to trust Young's Tires and Horseheads for all their automotive, tire, and suspension needs. With a new 3,000 square foot edition, Young's now offer complete diagnostic checks, as well as a customer database containing the history of your vehicle's repair and maintenance. Young's Auto Diagnostic Services provide you with an accurate diagnosis of your vehicle's engine problem and a repair that's done correctly the first time. That's Young's Tires, 909 Shemung Street in Horseheads. Due to the tremendous response, Hustleson's has extended its Thanksgiving hot tub sale one more week. Huge savings throughout the store on all models. Save $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, even $10,000 off our already low prices. Hustleson's has hot tubs in stock and are ready for immediate delivery. Hustleson's is also offering 0% interest free financing for up to five years. Why shop anywhere else? Real savings, great service, free steps and chemicals, and free standard delivery and takeaway of your old hot tub. Remember, it's always fun to poke in the corners at Hustleson's. Keep up with breaking news and developing stories across the Twin Tiers. Coming up tonight on WENY News. Cold front comes through late in the day. And breaking news into our news. WENY News brings you a live stream of our newscasts every day. Check out WENY.com slash live and our mobile app. Breaking news, weather alerts, and more on the WENY live stream. 
Visit WENY.com slash live or download our app today. Follow WENY News on Twitter for all of your news, weather, and sports updates. From WENY News, this is Sports with Brian Campbell. Well, it's championship week for New York State High School football. In Class D, Tioga will take the field with their eyes on back-to-back -back state titles. Now, the Tigers, they'll take on Cambridge-Salem in the NYSPHSAA Class D state championship at the JWA Wireless Dome in Syracuse on Saturday with a noon kickoff. And both teams, they enter this game undefeated at 13-0. Tioga beat Randolph by a touchdown in last week's state semifinals, while Cambridge-Salem, they're coming off a 47-22 win over Mariah. And both teams, they have high-powered offenses. Tioga is averaging over 45 points per game. Cambridge-Salem averaging over 36. And Tioga, they're giving up over 12 points per game. And Cambridge-Salem's defense, it's been stellar this year, allowing just under 7 points a game. The Tigers, they're eager to take the field with hopes to bring home another state title, but they know the challenges Cambridge-Salem presents on Saturday. They have a really uh, pretty stout defense. They haven't given up a whole lot of points throughout the year, and, uh, and they run no huddle on offense. And so they, you know, that, that brings to it um, you know, a couple things that you really have to stress in, in practice in order to get ready for that sort of thing. So um, we know they're a good team. They're, um, you know, their coaching staff has, has been in quite a few state finals, and, uh, and I know they're going to be ready when, when they show up. Both teams are going to play with a lot of emotion. Uh, both teams want to go home winners. And, and so you know, it comes down to just staying composed, staying in the moment, and, um, and taking it all in. I think it will be... Big if we give up little penalties and just play our game, offense and defense, and give up little turnovers. We're all excited, but we can't let it get to us. We have to have a good week of practice, and coach lets us know that. It would definitely mean the world. That's what this whole program is all about. All the work we put in is for this moment, so it'd just be, it'd be nice to execute and take on another one. All right, to the court, Elmira College Women's Volleyball announced 2021 grad Savannah Terry as the new head coach this afternoon. She is the sixth head coach in the program's 48-year history and takes over for interim head coach Ryan McDonough. Now, he... He will become the full-time head coach for the men's program. Terry coached for two years with Smith College following her graduation from Elmira College. And as a player with the Soaring Eagles, she earned Empire 8 All-Conference and All-Tournament honors in 2019 and was named First Team All-Conference in 2020. And Terry ranks seventh in program history with 134 block assists. Well, switching gears to the NFL, Bills defensive tackle Ed Oliver was named AFC Defensive Player of the Week. He recorded six tackles, two quarterback hits, a fumble recovery, and a sack for a safety on Thanksgiving Day against the Lions. It is the first time Oliver has earned the honor as he becomes the second straight Bills player to earn AFC Defensive Player of the Week. And that follows Matt Milano. And staying on the Bills and other news, the team released its injury report earlier today. Vaughn Miller remains sidelined with a knee injury. He hopes to return in week 14 against the Jets. And Josh Allen, he was also listed on the IR with a right elbow injury, but practiced in full this week. Five players were out for Monday's practice with an illness, including tight end Quentin Morris. He did not participate in practice on Monday or Tuesday, but participated in today's walkthrough. He is listed as questionable for tomorrow. Deion Dawkins, he is listed as out with an ankle injury. All right, and Joel, I have one last look at your weather after the break. You're watching WENY News at 6. Our graduates find great career paths at Alfred State College. The Internet of Things is evolving, creating the Internet of You. And Spectrum, America's leading Internet provider, is bringing you seamless connectivity across all your devices. Introducing Spectrum One. Spectrum Internet with speeds of 300 megabits, advanced Wi-Fi, and Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, all for just $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999. Spectrum Internet delivers the fastest speeds in the nation for smoother surfing, streaming, gaming, and more. Advanced Wi-Fi provides enhanced security and privacy that automatically blocks threats to protect all of your devices. And Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data with reliable nationwide 5G coast to coast. Switch now. Call 833-673-4999. At Spectrum, it's not just about connecting things. It's about connecting you. Get it all with Spectrum One, Spectrum Internet, Advanced Wi-Fi, and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for $49.99 a month. Call 833-673-4999 or visit a Spectrum store today. You are busy, but still need to know what's happening. Local news. Local weather. Local sports. Local info. Local events. Get it? You will on demand. WENY.com. WENY social media.
Media, WENY E Newsman, WENY's mobile app, WENY Text Alerts. Did we mention it's local? WENY Digital. Free, easy, and all about you. From your local station, WENY. So many questions, and you need answers. Job security, financial assistance, food protection. Are elected representatives helping from Harrisburg? WENY Capitol reporter Brendan Scanlon is there, watching out for you, tracking important decisions that affect your life. Brendan Scanlon, part of the WENY News Team, delivering unmatched coverage today and every day. Only on WENY News. Joe, it was pretty windy out there. We lost some power here at the station. We did. Uh, luckily, we were able to get it on. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a short-lived power outage, but uh, that's been kind of common across the Twin Tier. Nothing that's been too terribly widespread. It's just been kind of scattered here and there due to those gusty winds and likely at least some tree limbs coming down. Mm -hmm. Still on the windy side overnight tonight, some snow showers will push off of Lake Erie, push our way, and just some minor accumulation, generally less than an inch expected overnight tonight. All right. Thanks, Joe. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back for WENY News at 11 o'clock, and we're always online at WENY.com. Have a good night.